Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play NES. I'm Josh from Offhand Games, and in this episode we play Hogan's Alley. This is going to be a special episode because we're actually going to try to use the zapper, but not an actual zapper, but the mouse, which the cursor should be on the screen here. I have not played Hogan's Alley. I used to have a friend that had it, but the concept is pretty straightforward. We have to make a snap judgment about who the criminal is and fuck their world up, apparently. Shatter everything about them. I almost wish we could do that test kind of like <laughs> in Men in Black when uh, Will Smith's character was able to uh, pick out that something was wrong with the girl who was carrying the physics book or the trigonometry book. I wish... Ah, oh, I missed him. Damn. I wish that there was music. That's kind of a grating noise. Oh. Missed this one. Damn you. How can I shoot both? Looks like he's just the... He's the only one there. That's good. Hogan's Alley is apparently a shooting range because there's no real action here it doesn't look like at least unless this is qualifying for something and I'm training to be a cop take that alright so we're on wave 10 nope you does she have like a guinea pig <laughs> not only do you feel bad because you shoot the poor woman but she's got a guinea pig nice Ah, oh, I missed him. Yeah, I don't see how this would have really worked all that well with the, with the zapper, because I could never really hit exactly what I wanted to unless I was standing right in front of the screen. You, you, you remember, if you've ever used a zapper, actually holding it right up against the screen, which I don't think really worked as well as it was supposed to. But uh, as zappers started going out, people get so frustrated. Damn you. Sharpshooter. Alright, let's see what we can do. See, they almost don't need to do this whole segment here with the screeching lines moving across because, I mean, yeah, it gives the illusion that they're changing to new ones, but they don't even really have to. They all look the same when they're sideways. I don't know what the sharpshooter meant. Let's take some focus, though. You really have to be ready right when they flip. I had your typical duck hunt, skeet shoot set up with my zapper. I'd almost like to find another zapper. One day I'd like to have a complete collection of all the controllers and the various types of systems that were out. The official controllers, of course, not. Really had a miss. Uh, not the uh, lame Mad Cats controllers. Of course, you all know, if you played with one of those, it was because you were over at your friend's house and he wanted to be player one. He was player one, and he had the good controller. And you got the one that he got for Christmas. It's like holding onto a biscuit. This just doesn't end, does it? I was hoping we'd go into some other game mode. Now, I shot right in his midsection. I'm going to go for a headshot this time. Take that. I wonder how many you're allowed to miss. We're on wave 26. Jeez. No, oh, that's friendly cop. Damn. I missed the shirtless guy in the fedora. Nope. Damn. I went the wrong direction. My, my strategy so far has been to focus on the one in the middle, and if it's not the villain, make a jump left or right. So we have about a two-thirds chance of being correct, and if there are two enemies, then you just really have to be on the ball. They seem to flip a little bit faster now. I see, you can play until you miss ten times. Well, 
It's got kind of a duck hunt sound to it. I mean, the sound effects are almost identical. The uh, the music at the intro, at least. Well, this is some nice music. I would have liked this to play while I was actually playing the game. But uh, but yeah, I mean, playing with a cursor, you know, or playing with a, a mouse rather, uh, works a lot better because you can aim exactly where you want on the screen. You don't have to worry about uh, accidentally, you know, firing in the wrong place just because the zapper didn't pick up the right input. But, uh, but yeah, that's Hogan's Alley. So, um, as always, thanks for watching Let's Play NES. You can share and like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us grow. And I'll see you next time.